This is non-calculator question number 19. College Board gives us a mixture problem where they're asking how many liters of 25% saline solution do you have to add to 3 liters of a 10% solution to obtain a 15% solution. So let's write expressions for the amount of salt because saline is a salt solution but you don't have to know that it's salt. These are expressions for the amount of whatever is dissolved in the solution. So 25% is 0.25 times, they're asking how many liters, so I'm going to call it x liters, plus 3 liters of 0.1 equals, if this is x liters and this is 3 liters, this is x plus 3 liters of 15%, which is 0.15. This gives me an equation for the total amount of the material that's dissolved in the 25% solution plus in the 10% solution, and that's the total amount dissolved in the 15% solution. So this is 0.25x plus 0.3 equals 0.15x plus 3 times 0.15 is 0.45. If I, now I want to solve for x. If I subtract 0.15x from both sides, I get 0.1x. If I subtract 0.3 from both sides, I get equals, the x is canceled, the 0.3 is canceled, 0.45 minus 0.3 is 0.15. Dividing both sides by 0.1, I get x equals 0.15 over 0.10. I'm just going to put in the zero. And that can be rewritten since I'm not fond of dividing decimals. Multiply this by 100, multiply this by 100, and we get 15 over 10. And I'm much happier with that. 15 over 10 is 3 over 2. So I would grid in 3 over 2. Writing the equation is probably the hardest step, but since they say how many liters of 25%, that is x, where x is how many liters, times 0.25 added to 3 liters of 10%, so that's 3 times 0.1. And since I have x liters here and 3 more liters here, that's a total of x plus 3 liters, and it's a 15% solution, so it's 0.15 times the quantity x plus 3. Hopefully that makes sense. If you're unsure of these, practice the mixture problems because you're very likely to see one on your SAT. And come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.